everyone is welcome to the avyakti parivar today is day 18 become a carefree emperor of the land without sorrow by being full with all attainments <clears throat> today's topic is master of all the treasures of all happiness an emperor of the land without sorrow means to be a master of the treasures of all happiness the treasure of happiness is a birthright of brahmins and it is because of this right that there is respect for the name and home of elevated souls today by taking the name of such emperors of the land without sorrow the temporary sorrow of many souls is removed is removed and seeing their images they begin to sing praise of their activities and souls who are unhappy begin to experience happiness you are such living emperors of the land without sorrow now we will listen to didi mohini Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Once Baba had given a homework. And the, the happiness of the conference hundred of the today. They, they show the all the gopis doing the Ras Leela with the Krishna. To do the Ras is a, is a super sensuous joy. And we can only do that when we are very, very happy. I remember in the beginning, when the, uh, when the little girls were there, we were all very young. We used to sit in Baba's remembrance, especially for the bhog. All the physical senses, they used to start dancing as if. And a very, very uh, natural way, as if our hands and feet, they used to do the Ras Leela. And inside, there used to be a lot of lightness and happiness and It used to be so much internal happiness that the body consciousness used to vanish. We used, we used to see Brahma Baba also. We were uh, passing by History Hall. Baba was looking at the pictures and Baba was doing the Ras. Like the way Sri Krishna does on one uh, leg. On one leg to do Ras. So, what is this kind of happiness if we see which kind of this time is in our life when we we as if the whole body all physical senses they start to do the ras leela therefore you have to make a list of that at what time we have we are the we are the masters of all the happiness and all attainments so not all the time but there should be some um some times in which you are very happy make a list of that sometimes it happens baba's yagya we are eating brahma bhojan Inside, there is a lot of happiness. Whose are we eating? Somebody is making us eat. Who is doing our sustenance? Who are we? Who do we belong to? Our Dadi Janki Ji used to say, Main aur mira, I and mine. Who, uh, who do I belong to? And like this, Baba is saying, 
the treasures, all the treasures, the masters of all the treasures, the master of all the treasures of happiness. We, when we make a list and we have a look at it, it will be very easy and nice. We, Baba's Bhandara, the kitchen, or the storage of the, um, the uh, so many big, big, uh, like one uh, dish is as big as the whole room. But how, how with so much happiness, they said 1700 is there. And so they st st finished cooking half an hour before. I was thinking that there is such a good example. All the people, they cut the vegetables. All the preparations are done. And the ones who cook, they, in two hours, their time is there. They come at 9 and they, 11 o'clock, they finish. They, they finished half an hour early. This is so much they had enthusiasm. That is why whatever we do for Baba, this is Yagya, this is Baba, the family, Paribar. So there is a heart and hap from the heart happiness. So the Begampur Kabadsha, which means the emperor of the land of sorrow, means to be a master of the treasures of all happiness. We have to make a list, right? We should make a list. The treasure of happiness is a birthright of Brahmins and it is because of this right. If with because of some happiness, we are, we are devoid of some happiness, what is the reason of that? Baba says, because of this right that there is respect for the name and form of elevated souls today by taking the name of such emperors. By taking the name of such emperors, of the land without sorrow, the temporary sorrow of many souls is removed. And when we do the praise, sometimes doing that praise, we speak such words that their, their specialities of their virtues come out. Baba says, and seeing their images, they begin to sing praise of their activities and souls who are unhappy begin to experience and souls who are unhappy begin to experience happiness. You are such living Chaitanya, all emperors of the land without sorrow. So, there are some, sometimes in that they have shown the, sometimes they have shown the deities like as if there are some tears in their eyes. But the, the character of Shri Krishna and Ram Chandra, The bhavna that has been created, that the sorrow is natural. Baba says, there is a time, there is no, uh, there is no name or trace of sorrow. And especially at the time of confluence, Sangam, keep writing, keep um, writing, make a list. Okay?
Om Shanti, I like the motivation and also another. For Vet Morley Revision from 1969. Oh, well done. Avakta Avyaktavani date is 19 September 1972. What have you received? Whom have you found? What is going to happen? Whilst knowing all this, you must continue to dance in super sensuous happiness. Do you have such a stage or do the papers sometimes make you fluctuate? You do not fluctuate, do you? You do not become afraid, do you? Or is it that when you hear the things from one another, waves of fear come and then that and that you then put yourself right? What do you think the result is? What is the result of the Madhuban Nivasis? Madhuban Nivasis are lighthouses. A lighthouse is high up and it shows the path. You are all moving according to, you are all moving according to the directions of Madhuban and so it has become a lighthouse. So has it not, and there is also the elevated stage, as it is said of the father that his task is elevated. In the same way, Madhuban is also the elevated place. So the name and the task would both be elevated, would they not? The very name is Madhuban. This is the speciality of Madhuban Nivasis, is it not? The images of sweetness and those who have unlimited disinterest on one hand, you have sweetness and on the other hand, you just have just as much an attitude of unlimited disinterest. With the attitude of unlimited disinterest, would you simply remain serious and mature? No. In fact, a totally mature and serious nature has an entertaining nature merged within. Perhaps when those who do not have any knowledge have a serious nature, they are also so, they are so serious that they won't be any name and trace of being entertaining. However, the accurate virtue of being serious and mature is completed with the virtue of being entertaining. You explain to people that the soul is an embodiment of peace. However, the soul is not just an embodiment of peace, but within that peace, bliss, Love and knowledge are also merged in the same way. The speciality of the Madhubani Vasis is that they are the images of such unlimited disinterest, but that they also have sweetness. Do those who maintain an attitude of unlimited disinterest ever become afraid? Can they ever fluctuate? Can they ever shake? No matter how strongly others may try to make them fluctuate, those who have an attitude of unlimited disinterest are the conquerors of attachment and the embodiment of remembrance. So are you the conquerors of attachment and the embodiment of remembrance? Or when you see even a little something, do you have love or call it attachment? Call it whatever you will, but what is the form of love? You know this. You know this. Do you not? You become cooperative with the one you love, but to let them, let the form of love emerge as a custom or system without this being called love or attachment. 
so have the madhuban nivasis passed this in the subject because the madhuban nivasis are lighthouses their attitude and part and vibrations spread into the atmosphere in all four directions in one second do you play every part considering yourselves to be such instruments or do you become little children at that time what is the result nothing has happened yet a lot more still has to still happen you may think that because something happened suddenly only a little has happened however a paper comes suddenly it does not give advanced warning acha now that further we will read tomorrow om shanti